So guys, see, you need a triangle using these points 41 comma 0, 0 comma 41 and origin. Okay, after drawing that triangle, we need a point with coordinates x and y, and they're given how many number of integer coordinates are there inside the triangle, excluding all the points on the boundary. So here again, we need to analyze. We cannot do question directly as answers are more than 700. Okay, as we did like previous questions, we need to take some small numbers. I'm taking 5 comma 0, 0 comma 5, 0 comma 0. Let's analyze how many integer points are inside. Then take 7 comma 0, 0 comma 7, 0 comma 0. Draw the triangle. Okay, you need to analyze and develop formula and apply for big numbers. Big numbers we cannot do at a time directly. And whatever you want to create formula, something like you need to work with the small numbers. So just now I taken 5, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, I said right. So we'll mark, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? So this is 0, 0. This will be 5, 0. This is 0, 5. And we'll join that. We'll got a triangle. Yeah, we got triangle. They clearly mention points on triangle is not counted. This is actually x plus y equal to 5 line x plus y equal to 5 line that is how sir you know two points you know how to form the line y minus y1 equal to slope into x minus x1 slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x2. you people are very familiar with that you people can apply you will get that line as x plus y equal to 5 now i am checking for this small okay value what is the output then i'll apply for that now is this 1 comma 1 inside this and is it an integer? 1 comma 1? Yes. 1 comma 2? Sorry, it's 2 comma 1. Sorry. 2 comma 1? Yes. Next 3 comma 1? 4 comma 1 is on the line. 4 plus 1 equal to 5. It will be on the line. I should not count that. We should not excluding the points on boundary. 4 comma 1 will be on boundary. I should not consider that. Next here, 1 comma 2, yeah, inside only. Next, 2 comma 2, okay. Then 2 comma 3 is in, we should not count. Next, 1 comma 3, 1 comma, sorry, next one is 2 comma 3, 2 plus 3 is, 5, it will be online. Next year, 1 comma 4 is also online. How many you got? If you see row wise or column wise, 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to 6. Right? So, but see, you have wax is 0 to 5, but we counted only from 3 because on boundary we should not take. When you do the same thing now for 0 to 41, on y-axis, we should count from 39 only. So, 39, 38, 37, so on up to 1. This is sum of natural numbers from 1 to 39. n into n plus 1 divided by 2, which is 780. Sorry. Yeah, 780. 780 is the answer. Still, people are not getting the logic because I given only one example. Where you got 3 plus 2 plus 1. Similarly, if we try... 0, 0, 0, 0,7. No, I will give 0. If, I, if it is 0, 0,7, let us say, wax is 0, 0,7. Here, 7, 0 means here allowed 1, 1, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 is also allowed. Is it or not? If it is 0, 0,7, okay, here this point is 0, 0,7 means 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. 1, 6 is not allowed because 1 plus 6 is 7, it will be on the line. So, up to 5 only. Then, whereas this one, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4 only. 4. So, 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 will come. So, up to 1 from 5 or 1 to 5 in the sum of natural numbers, it's like you have to understand that's how they are developing. You have to create one formula. What is the formula here now? Simple. I have to do n minus 2. If point is, okay, 0, 0, 0, n, n, 0. Okay, I have to go with n minus 2 first. I have to start with 
1 sum 1 to n minus 2 natural numbers. If this is like, okay, my formula should be like this. I have to go always with generalized one. n is an odd number. n is an odd number here. We are talking about odd number. Let's say n is an odd number. Wait, so far analyzed for odd number. Actually, it's applied for even number also. But then what you have to do? 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 2 is your answer. Up to n minus 2 means last number is n minus 2. Number of terms is n minus 2 divided by 2 into first number plus last number. You can simplify and develop a formula. Then write program in single line. They ask you to understand this concept to write the program finally. If they give n value 41, your program should give 780. If I give n value 5, your program should give answer as 6. Instead of this 41, no. In programming point of view, they will give n. n, 0, 0, n, 0, 0. And they will give sample inputs. With 5, okay, what is the output? With 7, what is the output? From that, okay, in programming, that's what, right? They'll give sample input, sample output also to understand. If I give this as the input, what will be the output? You can understand. So, you have to analyze. Now, very simple formula, actually, if it is n, if it is n, no. The formula will be finally, number of terms divided by 2. Number of terms is n minus 2. First term is 1, last term is n minus 2. This is the formula. How many number of points or integer points are there inside the triangle is this. You are going to develop a formula here. It's not like you are behind something, you are developing a formula. You have to create that. What is that N stands for? That X axis and not number of columns, not number of rows. This is a point, right? So in that point X axis N comma 0 and 0 comma N and 0 comma 0 is given. Then what is the number of points inside that means n minus 2 into this is simplified as n minus 2 into n minus 1 divided by 2 or better people will understand it as 1 first then 2 next okay that's also fine. See this is what we developed the formula you have this is badly required for programming any concept is given you analyze it okay not with the big numbers you take small number analyze the answer get some logic or develop some formula, then apply. Okay, now if you know that formula, no, you can write single line program. For n input, okay, number of points is n minus 1 into n minus 2, divide by 2, your program is giving the output. How many points are inside? If n value 100 also, no problem. Okay, 1000 also, no problem. Your program will give the output in seconds. Right, so that's what you have to develop this type of logic of analyzing the things. Okay, develop the logic, apply the formula and go ahead. Some people are worrying about this logic with one only I given one example. You can try as I mentioned 70, 0, 0, 7, 7, 0, all those you can try. The 0, 7 here, here 7, 0, here 0, 0. Then if you try, you know, first column the points allowed is, the points allowed here is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, so on up to 1, 5. Next column, the points allowed is 2, 1, 2, 2, so on up to 2, 4. Next, it is allowed only 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. Like this, it will come. So, that's why 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus again 2 plus 1. Like that, if you calculate, that will give the answer 15. Our formula also, if n value is 7, 7 minus 1 into 7 minus 2 divided by 2 means 6 into 5, 30 divided by 2 will give 15 only. So, this is okay. If the points are added like 0, 5, 0, 0, 5, 0 instead of that, I am taking 0, 0, 0, 7, 7, 0 also. Then you analyze and check the result. And this line is x plus y equal to 7. 